the shop. Just doing some kind of odds and ends. I uh, got Daniel here helping me out a little bit. Um, didn't really get a lot done. We finished most of the wiring now. Uh, I put a proper return string on the carburetor. The big thing was I crawled underneath and I just changed on the Plymouth models. This right here is what controls your neutral safety and your reverse lights. So the middle one is grounded out. It'll start in park and neutral. The outside ones has power coming in and power going out and when you put it in reverse it bridges the two so that's how that works and it works in this the middle one here this little pin you kind of push in the one that's reverse and i believe that's neutral safety uh this thing right from when i got it you had to kind of fumble with it in park it wasn't happy to start and the reverse lights did not work so this was like nine bucks so i just changed it and it worked fine in the last video I traced it all and it was the wiring was good uh you want to hit the squirter again babe so we got squirters working now you can kind of see already but oh yeah mint mint and uh i got the door up but let me just see here you want to uh, pop her in reverse oh yeah put it back in park so they those work just fine uh i got a radiator cap for it i tied up some wiring under the dash we're gonna tie up the wiring Underneath the uh, front there, uh, I gotta put some transmission oil in it because a bunch leaked out when I pulled this plug out, tech tip, that'll happen. And all we have left is that one turn signal light, which I'll deal with. Uh, I wanna do a little bit of cleaning up under here, route some wires a little different because some stuff was kind of uh, unhappy. Uh, you know, the breeder line's going nowhere, the PCB belt's going nowhere. We got that all capped off, so I got some hose I can run. Make it look a little more pretty. See if I have a air filter top something oh i got a chevrolet one they should put a chevy air filter lid on the plymouth or people lose their minds i feel like you can answer that yourself <laughs> so uh anyways i want to go i want to wash this thing we got to get a couple jerry cans of gas because it only has like 10 bucks in it i think everything works which is shocking for me really shocking and then i want to take this thing for a ride around the block today so Danielle can come, she'll film it, she'll film the arrest, and we're getting pulled over for not driving with uh, proper documentation and insurance. And yeah, Where should be a good one. Money? Exactly. Yeah, she's coming around. So we're gonna run some errands, we'll be back shortly, and we'll, uh, yeah, put this thing all together. I'm pretty excited. All right, we're back from errands. Uh, didn't really do a whole lot. I mean, the car's down on the ground. I did make the uh, turn signal work by, I just bought a universal one, hogged it out and had a little snap in it has its own ground so it's it works it's not pretty but it'll it'll work forever uh put transmission oil in it so we're all dialed together there a few little bolts there's a broken bolt in the valve cover and the head so that's a pain i gotta deal with that but whatever uh kind of just rooted all the wires away from everything hot reran some of the spark plug wires uh i want to put a zip tie in the fuel line it's kind of a little long and stuff but i like having this plastic filter on there uh so i can just see if it's getting plugged up with junk or whatever, probably should be fine. It's a brand new tank now, but it is the existing line. So I'll zip, uh, zip tie that out of the way. What else we got going on here? Uh, oh, two, two jerry cans with the fuel in it. So you know, 10 gallons or something like that. Uh, we stopped by cleaning tire, like I said. Got some stuff, uh, Windex, paper towel, and some stuff to wash it. So we're gonna do that. Vacuum it all out, everything there. Yeah, except the only thing, for some reason, Fan stop working, so that's nice. Look at top tank of fuel, everything else seems to work. Oh, the rest are kicked on. So yeah, we'll uh we'll get this thing outside. I gotta move the truck, move a bunch of junk, and uh back to the inside out, wash the outside real good. Yeah, go for a ride around the block. First time since 1976. It's been on the road. We got the hot rod out. Danny did her makeup all nice because she's gonna be on camera. Murr stopped by. Uh, we're actually we're gonna legally take this thing for a ride around the block burn. That was the that was the whole plan for today. So bring the vacuum out, get her all cleaned up outside, wash her up nice. You gotta come over and we gotta do the alignment at some point. Because I, I don't know what all these switches and knobs are for on this thing. It's all switches outside. and knobs. I know where to find a knob. <laughs> <laughs> Danny's a little cranky. I had a small fit today. <laughs> I'm not cranky. I had a fit, I had a little slip and fall, and I threw a couple of drinks. But no big deal. We're fine now. We're dodging. So, uh, yeah, we'll get the stuff out. We'll start to Danny can get all sudsy up and uh, clean the sucker up. No, I'm going in. No, no, no. We got to match the rest of the car to the windshield. We'll bring Merce here. We'll get the polisher out. Yeah, we'll... Merce here to do it. Look at this thing. 
All right. Well, let's get after it. Uh, so I shined up inside or whatever. I need some armor all or more patience, I guess. And then I'm just going to hose out under here, try and be just lots and lots of water. Because uh, it really shouldn't be that dirty under here. It's just all the junk from moving stuff in and out. Actually, the hood had some rust in it or something like that. Gentle. Should have bought an end to the entire. Went to the entire twice today. So I'll just kind of get all the junk off. And then uh, I'll set the laps up. Detail the outside with a bucket of soapy water. And yeah, this thing will be uh, road ready. Oh, we're going to grab the fire extinguisher. That's on you to remember. Yeah. Get it all cleaned up. all shined up. It's a nice looking car I think. Hey, can you get the whole thing in? You're not at the right angle. I feel like that's the best angle of the car. So we're gonna go take this thing for its first drive. This is the plate that came on when I got it. 1976. 77 stickers. So what is that? Long time. I don't math well. But uh, this thing was only on the road for 10 years before it ended up sitting and then running out and blown motor or seized motor all that stuff and uh <clears throat> without well it was a lot of time i did go a little overkill but she's back in the road and i put a pile of hours in here but you know what there's a lot of people that helped out uh, along the way danny holding the camera and let's be honest she kept me fed and pulled up with a, put up with a bunch of my bs all my loser buddies i got some pictures too and stuff like that i appreciate all those guys and uh then there's people helped out. I mean, the whole motor obviously came from the Coastal Boys, which we appreciate that. Motor and Trans, the sobering, uh, sobering crew, they sent it. They got shipped. Uh, it's got that Gorilla carburetor on it from uh, Chuck. So Gorilla carburetors, check him out. The interior, obviously, TCS helped us out big time on that. And and then it's got a set of the Lyles exhaust, the tailpipes and mufflers and, and all that. So there's a lot of help in this. And I mean. Uh, Paid for a lot of stuff. I got deals and scrounging on things and all that sort of stuff. Even down to you know finding a good glass guy. You know you pay for their service, but you end up uh, building a relationship which you can use you know again and again. And Rock Auto, I gotta thank those guys for taking my money. Man, they take it off the visa fast. But we got the fire extinguisher. Actually, Danny forgot it. We're gonna do that. We're gonna go for our first ride around the block. We don't. We're not gonna go far. Just down the side street and do a couple of drive-bys maybe and and bring her home, eh? Sounds like a fun time. And then supper. Because I'm hungry. And hopefully it won't let us down. We're not going to go so far we can always walk back. <laughs> the keys will be in it if it dies. Alright, first drive. I already feel the brakes are poorly adjusted. They're slowing her down. They'll self wear in, I guess. And the steering wheel is extremely crooked. So the front end is not aligned. <laughs> Actually, not bad. Seems like it went into gears. Yeah. It's kind of quiet in here. It's weird. It's very weird. There's no gauges whatsoever other than it's charging. We assume there's oil pressure and uh, it's not overheating. Well, the gauge reads dead cold, but it's also not hooked up. Actually, I wish I would have grabbed the... Uh, Did you bring the fire extinguisher? Yeah, I got oh, the fire okay. extinguisher. Fire extinguisher and the battery cables are loose. What else could you need? I wish I would have grabbed the sending unit off the other motor. I totally forgot. So I'll have to see if I can get that because then I can make the temperature gauge work. And all we'd have to run in here would be a uh, oil pressure gauge just to be on the safe side. Which I'm sure it has oil pressure because they've run it long enough and idle that it hasn't destroyed itself. 
And I put a brand new oil pump on. All right. This is a nice windshield. <laughs> didn't overheat, nothing smoking, little inferno. I don't know what my lungs have just ingested. Well, we got on it. It just blew a bunch of stuff out of the dash, though, so I don't know what that was all about. I guess the, uh, the little whatever must suck in air somehow from the cowl or whatever, but it got up and boogied for a big car. That was only like kind of half throttle. It was pretty fun. Still needs a little bit of screwing around the carburetor. Had a little bit of a stumble, but we'll figure that out. Just put all the timing in it. But yeah, we're here. It's still, I mean, we're not done, obviously. It, like I said, it's got to go in for inspection yet. The fan stopped working for some reason. Uh, little odds and ends I'm sure it's going to need over the next week or so. self tapper screw, which probably get that for it. Get a flat tire. But uh, we're going to keep giving her on it. I don't know if you guys have any, any thoughts. But, you know, I was thinking while we were driving it, I thanked everyone for helping out, but I didn't think you guys were watching. And ultimately, 
this is a car I probably would not be able to afford uh, if it wasn't for you guys watching the videos and I know sitting through the terrible ads and and commenting and, and hitting the thumbs up and all that and uh, I know I say it in every video you know like you know share subscribe and all that but it really does make a difference and I really do appreciate you guys uh, by helping out you know if, if it just takes a second hit the button or do whatever and, and sit through the terrible ads and and that you know I don't know. And if I see you out, make sure you honk or wave or, or whatever. Hopefully we can get down to the States with this thing or, or something else. If they ever open the border up again, we really want to do power tour and, and enjoy these things and kind of keep the, the automotive community going or moving ahead and keeping it alive, I guess, at this point, right? This car and, well, all these cars have kept me sane over the last year. And hopefully it's for you guys a little bit of entertainment, watching my suffer and my struggle. Danielle enjoyed the suffer and the struggle and... She she got the negative side of it a little bit, but yeah, that's it for now. I don't know if we'll go right into this, or maybe I'll bring the wagon in, take a bit of a break. I'm, I feel like maybe I should leave on a high note right now, because it's so, everything just worked, which is so rare in my life, especially for this car. <laughs> this is one of the cars that fought me the hardest. For a car that was so complete and so tr pretty solid, I thought when I first bought it, I can't believe how hard it fought me. Dodges. I'm so happy I have it. I love the way it looks. It looks so cool. I gotta put the trim on it and a few little a few little things like that. But it's it's a sharp looking car. I know maybe not everyone's into the ratty the ratty look, but you know what? When was the last time you saw a 68, you know, B-body Dodge cruising on the road just being used and enjoyed versus uh, you know sitting in someone's garage? So. Yeah. Well, thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video. See?